You've decided it's the right time to buy a home. What are some do's and don'ts when you're applying for a mortgage? Well, that's going to be the topic of today's video, and we're going to get started right now. Hi, my name is David Matney with Nebraska Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now let's jump into today's topic. Let's first look at the do's. Do number one is about documentation. Do keep your originals or be able to access all your pay stubs, your bank statements, and any other important document that you're going to need to access from either the bank website or your employer website. Do number two has to deal with earnest money. Do provide earnest money from your own personal bank account or an acceptable gift fund. You want to speak with your loan officer for additional clarification. Do number three is do provide your lender with all documentation on the sale of your current home. If you have a home to sell, you want to make sure you provide your lender with purchase contract, the closing statement, or if you're part of a buyout program, make sure you provide your lender with all of that information. Do number four is you notify your loan officer if you plan to use gift funds for closing. Be sure to speak with your loan officer. Gift funds have certain requirements. Advances from credit card for down payment or closing costs are never acceptable. Do number five has to deal with employment. You want to do notify your loan officer of any employment changes or, you know, such as a raise, a promotion, or a change of pay status. For example, if you go from salary to commission, that can affect your loan. So you want to make sure you communicate with your loan officer before you make any of those changes. Finally, do number six is do be aware that a new credit report will be pulled just prior to closing. So be careful about that. A lot of these do's and don'ts have to deal with communication. One of the ways to make the loan process go smoother is to make sure that you communicate frequently and before you make any changes to anything, you want to make sure you bounce that off your loan officer first. Now let's talk about the don'ts. Don't number one, don't close or open or transfer funds between accounts without talking to your loan officer first. For example, before you're transferring all your funds out of your savings into your checking account, make sure you talk to your loan officer first. Don't number two has to deal with deposits. Don't deposit any money outside of your automated bankroll deposits, particularly cash on the sale of personal property without speaking to your loan officer first. Many guidelines require substantial documentation as to the source of these types of deposits. Don't number three, hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. And if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Okay, don't number four, don't change jobs or employers without inquiring about the impact this change will have on your loan. I've seen buyers change jobs right during the escrow period and it disqualified them from financing. So you want to make sure you have a discussion with your lender first if you're thinking about changing jobs. Don't number five has to deal with any purchases. Don't make any purchases such as a new car, furniture, or appliances. Appliances. This can impact your loan qualification. Number six, don't open or increase any liabilities, including credit cards or other lines of credit or co-sign for any loans. This can impact your qualifying loan amount. If you'd like to learn more about the buying process, hey, be sure to check out this next video and you make it a great day.